Welcome back, one and all, to the Culture of Currency, where today we're going through the Atmex website because, yes, it is day two of the anniversary sale, as you can see right here. This is the anniversary sale, and we have 50 hours, 26 minutes, and one second left. Uh, but basically, if you were not aware of my video that posted Monday, this is a giant sale uh, that will be site wide and Right now, every single thing on here is not quantity-based purchases. So that means if you were to buy 500 and get that uh, better pricing, that you would actually uh, see that reflected on if you would buy one today. So the quantity pricing is uh, site-wide. And so we're going to go through today and see some of these sales. If you don't remember, this is going to be through Thursday the 25th and we're going to be seeing a lot of cool stuff on this site and every day there's going to be a little bit more so we're going to see coins bars rounds both gold and silver pop culture collectibles all kinds of cool things but i wanted to go through them with you and kind of give you an idea that uh, of what i would buy in that type of thing so let's start in our favorite category here silver all right, so as you see, just like we talked about, any quantity pricing, as you see normally, when we have different quantities, the price goes up based on the amount you're buying. And so right now, it's any quantity. Silver spot, it says, is at $29.21. And so we're going to go through and kind of look at some awesome things on here. This five ounce nine fine mint bar if you don't know what that is i absolutely love mine check this out right here so this is a nine fine mint bar that's how it comes packaged very simple enough it's beautiful chunky poured bar and stamped it's saying it is 160 in any quantity oh yeah that's a pretty pretty looking bar right there so that is currently any quantity pricing as you see we've got all kinds of rounds there's a 10 ounce bar 324 really cool stuff here coca-cola they have tons of coca-cola stuff and that's part of their pop culture stuff why is the chibuch young one here it is not a round it is a coin really cool stuff as we see but as you know, I'm a coin guy. These are mostly rounds, generic stuff. So let's go ahead and hit my favorite category, the coins. All right, so normally when I am shopping here, because I have $100 a month I spend, I will go ahead and hit my one ounce variety and uh, go down to wait. Oh wait, I've already done wait. Ha. Huh. Let's see what we got. All right. We all know the Maples and the Phillies. 31.25, not bad there. I already picked him up. He's fantastic. We have a video over him. Uh, we have the Koala here. Beautiful. This is a random year with abrasions, which I've bought with abrasions before, and it was literally just a little bitty ding. Uh, and so sometimes that's not a bad way to get a, a steal. There's the Bird of Paradise. We believe that's an Atmex exclusive. We see that long fin banner fish. A lot of y'all love that on my channel. 33.25 right now, any quantity. Things that really pique my interest. This Rumble in the Jungle, I actually really like. Uh, and I've almost pulled the trigger on it a time or two. I'm not sure if we'll uh, get to that this month or not, but I'll probably make an order that's two months worth. You can see I already have eight in my cart. I've got to really hone what it is that I want to bring home today. And remember, if you're a channel member, you will be able to actually see the things I order when I order them so that you can buy the same ones too. And as I make videos over them, you'll be able to hold your own. There's that beautiful sea serpent. This is the one I got last month that I'm going to be making a video over soon. Really cool coin. Atmex exclusive. So you've got to buy it here from the nation of Nue. What else do we got? These are all pretty standard. Here's a Caribbean, uh, parts of the Caribbean here, if you're interested in that movie series. Spider-Man's pretty popular. We've got Koala here, 
$34. The kook, those are extremely popular. I have that kookaburra. I do not have that koala, though. Uh, the Royal Arms, one of the coolest coins out there. Really, really stunning coin. If you don't know what the Royal Arms is, watch my video over it. It's beautiful. Here's one from the Native American Mint. I have two from that series. Really cool overall. We're starting to see some slabbed coins here, both Disney products. And that's one of those pop culture things that are on sale right now. Sonic the Hedgehog, here's the 2024 Magnum Opus. This is a really cool one. Really hits the eye, that series from the Pressburg Mint. Gibraltar War Elephant. I've always loved this series. This is, I believe, the second or third in the series. I had the first. Really well done quality. If you don't know anything about Gibraltar, it has really cool history. All right, let's go to the next page. Tetris. These are all... Pretty standard things, most of which I have currently. Kronos, that's another cool one from the Pressburg. Uh, we have the Britannia and Liberty, which is England and America. The Vivat Humanitas, a really beautiful coin here. Has constellations, as you see. That one is one I am thinking about getting this month. We shall see. Equilibrium has male and female in a... Uh, what would you call it? A yin and a yang pattern almost. About balance. Malta. If you do not have a Maltese cross, this is one of the coolest coins. It's brand new. It's only a couple years old, but it's a world bullion coin mass produced. And they do a fantastic job. So if you would like one of these from Malta, that is a good time to get them. Because some of their stuff has a very high premium on it. Here we go, here we go. Uh, we've got my favorite series in the entire world right here, the Coat of Arms series. This one from Queensland. I happen to really like uh, this one. In fact, I like all the coins. I missed out on the first one, so if you have the first one in this series, please let me know because uh, I would like to um, cry alone because I don't have one. This nautical series is one that is on my list. I love Silver from Rwanda, and I currently do not have one from this series. So here we have a random year, one ounce nautical series coin from Rwanda. Beautiful coin. Next, let's check it out the BVI right here Santa Maria that's one you might want to be interested in because one it's a cool boat and that's always popular but it also is from the pop joy mint you see that little P right there that's very very important because unfortunately this beautiful and historic mint went under I believe last year uh, maybe a handful of months ago and so you will not be getting anything from this mint unless it's designs are picked up by another but they tend to really like the reverse cameo and that type of thing gorgeous gorgeous coin the lunar dragons over here this is from the royal australian mint which i think has the best lunar cycle um that we know of as of today uh i think that it changes every 12 years but this cycle which as you can see starts with the rat moves to the ox then we have the tiger then we have the rabbit and then we have the dragon beautiful obverse tells you the story and a degree of which animal basically finished the race when and on the reverse we have the dragon as of this year and look at the little crescent moon here they just they did it all right it's such a beautiful coin uh, and series I have the ox in this series and I'm really thinking about picking up the dragon because I just love it so that is one on my list this, the Czech Republic, is known for their Czech lion. Now, the one I have was actually minted by the nation of Nue on behalf of the Czech Republic. And here, this one seems to... Oh, it's still Nue. They just have Charles, and on the one I have, they don't. They have the Montrovian eagle and the linden tree and that type of thing. But I do love this series. It is beautiful imagery. And as you see up here, we even have King Wenceslas's crown. So if you know that old Christmas tune, apparently he was a real guy. I believe he was even killed by his brother. Let's do two more pages on this. 
All right, more cool things we see. Krugerrands, Maples, 007. If you are a James Bond fan, there's a 60-year anniversary on that. The Brumby. Love the Brumby series. We have a handful from that series. I was on this yesterday, and there's a lot of things already removed, which means these things must be going fast. So if you're going to buy, you might want to look into that today. Uh, let's see. Tokelau. This is their old Zodiac series, 2022. Their new one is going to be released, I want to say, like tomorrow or something. So pay attention for that. Here's a cool kookaburra with a monkey privy in it. That's cool. What else do we have? E.T., Tetris, Colorized, uh, Elephants, Libertods. I know a lot of you like Libertods, and they're under 40 bucks, which sometimes we don't see that. That's not bad there. The Quokka. There's a 2024. Sorry, Quokka. That's what it's called. Quokka there. It's super, super collectible. Uh, I bought one last year, and... Uh, whenever it came here, it was already worth more than what I had paid for it, even with the premium, because they were selling like crazy on eBay. I haven't checked recently, but uh, I would assume they're doing okay. All right, some more cool slabbed coins. These are the PCGS Mint Directs, which I assume it just means they were slabbed at the Mint and sent over. I'm not positive on that, so if you know, put it in the comments below. Uh, the emu. The emu's on my list. I do not have an emu yet, and I've always wanted one, so that is one I am thinking about pulling the trigger on. Lots of eagles here. Lots of eagles. The Onza. Classic vintage silver there. Ghostbusters. That one is fairly new. And actually, this one looks really cool. Check out the reverse. You get the silhouettes of all four of the Ghostbusters. Yes, Bill Murray included right there with the new a and all of that so really actually a pretty cool coin what else do we have here we've got some oh this one this one is definitely on my list it is the 125th anniversary it has three of their very very famous animals and honestly coins uh, we know their kangaroo coin to be kind of like the American Silver Eagle for Australia. It's the mass-produced bullion coin. And we obviously have the infamous, just ridiculously famous, um, Kookaburra series and the Koala series. So this is a really, really cool one, celebrating 125 years at the Perth Mint. Here we are with the Beskar Bar there. We've got more of the Rwanda Boat series. The Tiger Snake, this is one I've also thought about many times. Never pulled the trigger on, the premiums tend to be pretty high. It is cool, 25,000 coins worldwide. Obviously, it has amazing quality. I never want to see one in real life. <coughs> one more page. There's the Bat Meringue down here. We have Australian Swan, that's a very, very popular one. Here's the Perth Lunar Dragon. Just not a big fan of that one this year. Like this hand over here looks like it's just flying in the middle of the air. Uh, I get the artistic license behind it, but just not a big fan of the Perth Mint Dragon, which, you know, traditionally I've liked the Perth Mint, but uh, they just missed the mark on that one, I think. Here's the Una and the Lion. Really cool coin here from St. Helena. We have the Lunar Rabbit. This is a cool one. I've almost picked up this one too because I have a son who thinks he's a dinosaur. This is Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. So I'm not sure if I'll get that one or not. It really depends at this moment. The Victory, winged Victory. It's kind of like the Libertad has a winged fortune. That's a winged Victory. Here's the Wombat. That's another series I've almost pulled the trigger on a couple of times. Not sure if it's right yet, but we're getting closer, aren't we? The Five Blessings of Canada. This is a cool one. It's an older coin, one I do not have currently. See all of these symbolic animals here. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know the history of this, but I do wonder right off the top why it's five blessings, and I see one, two, three, four, if that's even called an animal. I don't know what that is. 
so that's not anything I know about. If you do, let me know in the comments. I got no idea, but it's cool looking. African wildlife here. We've got Street Fighter game that I remember growing up. Das, uh, Daisy and Donald Duck, the Rwanda Lunar Dragon, which I have. It's a gorgeous one. Look at the colored dragon. $40 on that thing. That's a good sale there. Those tend to be expensive. And they have the colored uh, Series 3 Lunar Dragon for $40. I bet you it's already selling for more than that on eBay. James Bond, colorized, even though it's barely any. It's really cool. Muhammad Ali. We've got the Australian Saltwater Crocodile. Not bad there. I don't have that one either. And uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 40th anniversary, which is crazy. All right, so that is what they have for their silver coins. If you're a gold fan, let's just go ahead and peruse a page of gold. Oh, the buffalo, my favorite of all time. That's my dream coin right there. What a guy. Looks like we're at 2533 on that spot being 24 23 so only $75 roughly maybe a little bit more because I'm not good at math basically all the same there's some 24s here for abrasions there's some 26s for fancy dragons cool stuff overall I don't really know much about gold I'd never buy it and so if you see something that looks like a deal let me know in the comments Really cool overall. Pop culture. If you like pop culture, there's all kinds. GM, I really like, I'm not even a GM guy, and I really like the things that they have done uh, there with the GM products, the logos, the Corvette, you name it. Really cool overall. Look at all these cool things. Oh, good. They even have some military stuff. That's cool. The Godfather. Oh, one of my favorites of all time. The Godfather. In fact, these two right here are two of my, I would say, top four movies. Godfather, Lord of the Rings, V for Vendetta, and uh, Jurassic Park would probably be my top four. I absolutely love all of those movies. Just great stuff. So, just wanted to go through this anniversary sale with y'all. Thought it would be cool. Um, and as time goes down as we're at 50 hours i believe they'll be dropping even more things so keep checking in until you pull the trigger and if you would like i have a affiliate link down below in uh, the description on this video and that will basically refer you to atmex and they'll say hey culture of currency referred you to atmex Here's a little bit of money to say thank you, which really helps out the channel. So if you'd like to do that, I'd appreciate it. And if not, that's okay too. But I wanted to go through some of those today with you uh, and kind of see what you thought. Hopefully you saw something you really liked and we'll go from there. I know I'll probably be making an order for this next two months today. We'll see uh, and go from there. So thank you so much for watching and please remember as always to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.